Hey, it's Jason. So I'm in front of this 1964 Land Rover Series 2, and obviously that was exciting to me, given the uh, love I have with Land Rovers. This uh, has a potential handle price of 40 to 50 thousand. It was completely restored, red with a black interior, and um, it's one of the legendary early models. And uh, it is a left-hand drive Series 2. It's a pretty beautiful car here. Um, this is going up on the auction Thursday. And I suspect it's gonna get pretty close to the hammer price. Admittedly, the only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the uh, side steps here with the embossed Land Rover. I would have just kept that as stainless. British cars continue to draw me to it. It's a 1963 Jaguar E-Type. It's a 3.8 liter fixed head coupe. And it is a stunner. I love how these look in the back, probably more so than in the front. And right behind me is the 1970 Mercedes-Benz 280. It's the Cabriolet. Um, this is the one I was talking about previously. I think it's just another magnificent example. I gravitate towards the old Benz and the uh, Jags and, and the Land Rovers, obviously. It's in really fine shape. This is gonna be a Thursday auction. Interior, I think it's nice. It's missing. It looks like a bit in the dash But that can easily be uh, Be filled so it's not a, a gap in it Another really cool car up here is the MG. It's a police edition So this guy here Really good English motoring of the time with the siren on the front. It's a 1961 Police MG. So I'm sure in its life, this thing has chased a lot of chaps and gave out plenty of tickets. It's a true right-hand drive with some really cool insides. 